Right, we're in the sumo now. Just uh, finishing this field off here. Got about another, I don't know, 10 acres maybe. Yeah, it's going not too bad. Pulling pretty pretty easy actually. But it's set at 9k doing 8, but well, we're doing 9k now. Just go back to your favourites. You all love to see how bad I'm treating the environment. So we'll go to um, performance, instant, 10.5 litres a hectare, 11. So I know we're going downhill, it's a bit more going uphill, but certainly not using much. Work rate, 2.6 hectares an hour, and fuel rate an hour, about 30. And engine pack, it's only, uh, it varies, about 70, 67%. And the engine speed, look, it's only 14.30, so it's not, not revving fast at all. We've got the diff lock in because there is a little bit of muck here and sometimes it will spin a bit so it's in auto as you can see down here so every time you turn around at the end when you turn the steering beyond a certain angle it actually um, cuts out so we're almost at the end of the field here if you can see there you'll see how, exactly how that how that works so I'll lift the we're over the hidden tremor and lift it up and you'll see it'll start flashing there it's now flashing which means it's disengaged we turn at the end here line up for the next row drop it down engage the gps and then you'll see in a few seconds when the steering's straightened up that will, yeah that's on permanently now so the diff lock's back in so yeah go up the field not as many seagulls as there was earlier in this video when I was doing a bit of ploughing. But, yep, there we go. And uh, someone was asking me in uh, my previous week's video about the this joystick here, all the functions on it. Well, I'll just uh, give a bit of an overrun of it. This one here changes the speed. If you look, F2 goes 9.1, 9.2, 1.1 of a mile, kilometre an hour difference. This one here plus and minus that changes between the ranges you'll see them in F2, F3 pretty changed ours we're racing along because as I said we're not going fast we don't want to burn out the metal this one here lifts the three point linkage up and down this one here is forwards and backwards this one here is the engages the GPS this one here is the headland management which you program you press this button here program it you can either have it play back on that one which is step by step so every time you press this button it goes on to the next step or you can have it in auto right? auto is very difficult because you have to be going exactly the same speed when turning around as it will do a function before it's needed to it's but so it's best to have it on uh, manual and just press that every time and then this one is a uh, spool valves uh, you can program which ones you want to do when you've got something on the back but at the moment I haven't got anything on the back that needs a spool valve so that's not even not even in use and then like now I've got it in if I, if I take my foot off you see it slows down that blue line down the side if I press it let's now put it in cruise control now if I pull the joystick back you'll see it's gradually coming off and then if I push it forwards it gradually picks up I don't use that function very often, but that is the function there. And then when you're going in backward, reverse, it does it the other way, as in it, when you put it back, it speeds up. When you push it forwards, it slows it down. And then you've got this button down here, which basically lim limits the revs of the engine. So it doesn't, because uh, now I've got, if I put my foot right down, it will only go to about 1500, 1600 as again to conserve fuel and all that sort of thing so there we go it's a brief overview for the for the guy who asked me I can't I can't remember who you were mate but I hope that answers your questions and uh, the queries about this um, about this uh, joystick and then I, I will just say about this one this one can also be for um, spool valves programmable again Got various different buttons to do different things you can do all for four small bags you look on the front here there's a little knob there you press that so you can go forwards and backwards and do two left and right and do so one and two and then you can press the button and do three and four 
and that is all programmable from here this button here it depends where that is to whether it uses that or whether it uses this the, these these things here and then you've got the, this here which is basically um, up and down and draft control on that and you can also lift the uh, three point linkage up here as well so you can lift the three point linkage here here or you can lift it here but that, that's not recommend that's more like when you're hitching onto a implement I'll just give an overview on everything we've got on here right front suspension I don't know why you'd ever want to turn the suspension off but you can four wheel drive permanent four wheel drive auto diff lock permanent diff lock auto auto on the PTO so when you lift it up it cuts in and out and re-engages wheel slip monitor so when it gets to a certain wheel slip it starts lifting the implement up up and down on the three point linkage that's the hydraulic top link you can see we've got on there in and out those ones are in and out on the the hitch so when you're hitching up to an implement these ones here that is um programming the, as i said earlier programming the head of management that's playing step by step and that's auto over here you got a reverse fan they haven't actually fit on this one but you've got it and then you've got different buttons for the uh, transmission this is how aggressive it is that's more aggressive that's more aggressive and that's least aggressive and that wants to do with uh, how you uh, engage it and uh, have it operating on it, whether you drive it on the joystick or the other thing and then that bottom one there as I said is to change from these to this right guys that's a bit of an overview of all the controls and then obviously the Ford's reverse shuttle is here at my left but you can either use that or you can use this one here it's, it's up to you it depends, it depends how I am yesterday I'd had uh, some problems with burying that uh, that mucky stuff so my arm this arm was really aching because I kept opening the door getting in and out and everything so I ended up using this one with my other hand so th th this hand here could have a bit of a rest right guys the review of the controls i think that's all the controls the main controls i think oh we'll just have a look around the cab here we've got obviously the radio up here which i can't have on when i'm talking to you because that'll be copyright uh, air conditioning controls light controls flasher this one's you can turn the you've got the three lights up the top here out there you can turn the outside ones off the next one is the daylight save when you have them on or off and that one's the heated wing mirrors and here you've got the electric wing mirrors this is going way into more in depth than i was to start with and then you've got various controls on here battery air three point linkage pto speed which is all displayed down the bottom here you can see i've got three point linkage height if i press that one that'll give me wheel slip which again is saying zero I'm not sure if that's right but it's quite dry on top well quite dry very dry I should say so anyway guys that is a review on the controls of the New Holland tractor this is a 260 they'd all be the same all our New Hollands are the same they've all got the same uh, gearbox and settings and then one more thing I've just realized I've forgotten PO controls PO control lever engage various different speeds a thousand economy thousand 540 economy and 540 electrical outlets and then these ones here are to do with the gps steering 